kids, it's Teacher Ali here, and today we're going to be talking about how God delivers. When have you guys cried out to God and seen Him deliver to you? We see it all throughout the Bible. God's people, Moses, Hannah, David, Joshua, Jonah, and more cried out to Him, and He delivered. Countless times the Israelites groaned in their slavery and repented of their sin, and God always came to their defense as a strong teller and deliverer. You'll hear more about that in today's lesson. One of my favorite family memories is of my sister when she got herself into a big mess one day. Somehow, someway, she managed to get stuck in the washing machine. She quickly realized that she could not get out and we had to call the firefighters to come and get her free from that very small space. The Bible tells us that God delivers and God had delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. He'd brought them into the promised land. He'd kept his promises. But God had given them a strict command. Don't worship any other gods. When the Israelites made it into the promised land, they kind of forgot some of God's commands. You see, they destroyed some of the altars to the false gods, but they didn't get rid of all of them. And they started mixing with the other people, and they started losing track of who God had called them to be. You see, the Israelites constantly went through this circle. You see, first, they would rebel. They would turn their back on God. They would sin. They would make mistakes. And they went from rebellion to realizing they're wrong. You see, they experienced the consequences of their rebellion, and so they decided to repent. That meant that they said sorry to God. And then God would hear their cry, and he would intervene, and he would restore the situation. It wasn't long, though, before they would begin to rebel again, and then they'd have to repent, and then God would have to come in and restore things. That was kind of how it went for Israel for a long time. And when we, in our big God story today, we hear about this King Eglon. He was this cruel ruler who ruled for 18 years and made the life of the Israelites miserable. They were so miserable that they cried out to God and they turned back to him, even though they'd been unfaithful. And God still heard their cries and he sent them this man called Ehud. Ehud had this interesting physical trait, and some of you might have it too. I do. He was left-handed. Ehud used his left hand for everything, and that was really unusual. You see, when soldiers went into battle, they usually held their shield in their left hand and their sword in their right hand. But if you were left-handed, then you wouldn't fight like everyone else. God used this interesting trait of, of, of Ehud. You see, Ehud was the one who was chosen to go and take special gifts and offerings to the King Eglon. King Eglon would demand money uh, from the Israelites, and this was what Ehud did. When he presented these special gifts to the king, he asked to give the king a spe special and secret message. King Eglon told all of his servants to leave the chamber so that they could talk in private. And while they were talking in private, Ehud grabbed his hidden sword with his left hand. And when the king wasn't expecting it, he struck the king in the belly. He struck it so far into Eglon's huge belly that the Bible says the sword got stuck in there. How gross is that? Ehud didn't bother to pull it out. He just locked the doors to the room and he slipped away safely. God used Ehud to deliver his people from the rule of a king who had mistreated them. God's people were delivered from that terrible king and they knew that it was God who delivered them. They once again repented and God restored them and they chose to worship God only. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to download the activity sheets in the description below and email us your prayer requests at lighthouse.plaog.net. See you next week.